the longest line is right now in McDonald's. <laughs> Dude, I remember one time, um, me and my sister were drunk, <laughs> and we're like having a kickback or something, I don't know, some guy, we were drinking at some guy's house, and, uh, and I was so drunk, my sister had a Mustang, I feel so bad to this day, I, I, I like crashed the person that was in front of me. But not like big time. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, can I have the Big Mac meal? I'm sorry? The Big Mac meal? Medium or large? Uh, medium. Um, do you guys have bottled water? Are we doing anything else? Uh, can I get the spicy chicken nuggets? I'm sorry, the spicy meat chicken? No, the spicy nuggets. Okay, how many and what kind of sauce? Ten of them and sweet and sour and barbecue. Anything else? Uh, no. Thank you. I'm sorry? That's all. Last one. Thank you. Oh, yeah, but... Dude, I'm, like, figuring out that... My fucking laptop is like fucked up. I bought this from the Apple store and it doesn't let me download any original apps. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like if I go to the app store, like if I like look for something like, you know, like let's say something simple as, let's see, like Snapchat. It will give me like bootleg ass Snapchat. Or like if I, want to download google chrome like it will give me some bootleg ass google chrome like what the fuck yeah it will give me like some bootleg google chrome like right now i'm on my laptop look i typed in snapchat and no snapchat comes up Like, look, I'm gonna show this. So, wait, watch. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Google Chrome. Google Chrome. And look, no Google Chrome comes out. And this laptop is from, like, fucking, uh, Straight from the Apple store, dude. Like, there's something wrong with my fucking computer. I'm gonna talk shit. Shoot. The fuck? Got me messed up. Like, he thinks he, by going faster, he's gonna get his food faster. He's a dumbass. I'll let him go first. Who cares? People are weird. Oh yeah, and then I'll go to my like Instagram on my my Safari and it, it says wrong address. Like weird shit like that. Damn, this guy's like really trying to get his phone like, serious. <laughs> oh, damn. What the fuck? It locked me out of my address.
he didn't even tell me how much it was gonna be. Either way, I'm just gonna use this. Damn, dude, I hope they don't. Do I have a thing? Yeah, I have a thing. Because sometimes they don't accept large bills. And I hate paying with my credit card or my cards. I like paying everything cash. I'll be back when they come back. Okay, I'm about to pay. It's Thursday night. Today I do feel like eating fries because I'm pretty hungry. Oh. Can I have some ketchup? Okay. Thanks. Alright, I'm done. Oh my god, I'm not gonna eat there, dude. I'm gonna go around because there's a bunch of bums right here. And I don't feel like... I don't feel like... Uh, looking at bums right now. Well, they're not bums. They're just hanging out on the outside. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to park right here. And I'm going to stare at everybody that's in. I'm going to stare at everybody that's in. I'm going to do a drive <laughs> spicy chicken Chicken nuggets thin now. Look up. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Let me try this burger. It's a big mac. Oh yeah, I gotta take a picture for my thumbnail. Yep, that's it.
Let me some of my ranch. Dang. McDonald's is pretty good. I know McDonald's is not real food. I lock my door, so. I don't need nobody creeping up on me. Oh, yeah. I know McDonald's is not real food, but. <clears throat> It'd be fire. Fries be bomb too. <laughs> All right. Back to my hamburger. Oh my god. People are so annoying. Like, like if you get rejected, like, stop calling so much. I need an answer. Dean, I can't believe. <laughs> they made him so thin. That's funny. Well, they are taking down our, our farms. Oh. I don't know if you guys know, but they just killed over 5,000 cows. It's supposed to be one day. It was just like, they woke up and 5,000 cows are dead. some ketchup.
<laughs> I've been tripping now. I've been doing this back then. I'm crying. Cool. Might as well. True. With these thin ass uh, little flakes of uh, nuggets. But yeah, they're killing like they're like they're like closing a lot of farms right now. Yeah, around the United States. People said there's gonna, there's gonna be a food store shortage, but I don't think so. They're just killing off the competition. So there won't be so much prices, like different prices. When you have more different places to buy the stuff from, you you have a like you know a, a living situation where like nobody can really control you, but like when they start like getting in control of those one farmers, like you know and and like. When they start killing competition, like let's say, let me put it example. Let's say me, you, and five other people had we had taco stands right here. I'm gonna in the same street. In the same street, we had a taco stand. And now, all of you guys are gone, and I'm the only taco stand left. You know what I mean? Now I could charge whatever the hell I want, how expensive I want, because there's nobody to compete with me. You know what I mean? And let's say I'm by myself doing all these prices. You know what I mean? Now... I don't know but that's like it's more like it's more in debt that's just a small version it's like bigger it's just a small like you know uh, example of how competition works but it's you would think it's good but it's not good because look now there's only there's only less there's less taco people. There's no competition, right? So the people that I buy my stuff from, like my supplies, my meat, my taco, my tortillas, and all that stuff, now they have to raise their prices because I'm the only one. I'm the only one selling the tacos, and there's just so much people I could serve. You know what I mean? Like now my prices for my tacos are gonna go up, like because my supplier raises prices because he don't have a lot of people buying from him or her. So it's not good, competition is good. There's a lot of people in the United States that could be served. So let's get back to Putin. So now, if there's less farms, McDonald's and Taco Bell, 
they have no choice but to buy whatever they're selling like all right you want chicken meat and then the farmer they go to the farmers and be like all right we produce chicken meat this is how much we're selling it for and then mcdonald's will be like you know what i'm gonna go shop around but now they're not gonna have nowhere to shop around but other countries because our farms are gone they're closing down our farms here in the united states and um, how does that affect us we're the consumers that pay that buy this so they're gonna raise their prices they're gonna make their their chicken nuggets thin and still sell them for the same price you know but is there something we could do about it no i don't think so i would say about voting but Damn, I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. Nah, dude, I'm not hungry no more. So if anything, my stomach is hurting. I think... I think I can't eat spicy food anymore. And I thought that I was spicy too. My stomach begs to differ though. So like me, you guys be like, oh, you like um there's more there's more nail takes here in Bakersfield now but at the end of the day that's good for me because like look at these little wholesalers of the nail shops here now they have more customers to sell to so their prices are dropping less not that much but everything works out for for the good I don't know about the farm though um, okay I'm done alright if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up bye